Okay, hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Quick Craft Friday part two or section two or whatever. So today I'm going to, ah, my gosh, my hair is just crazy today. Um, my sister did it and I think it looks pretty good. But anyway, so today I'm going to be making these DIY Briar Writing Crops, which these are pretty adorable and... They actually literally work as riding crops. I mean, I don't think they're gonna, they would break if you used them like uh, actual like crop, but they actually can fit around the little, uh, your girls or your dolls, um, arms, like their fingers or they can fit around like their hands, I guess you can say, and you can make them whatever color you want. So I have a yellow one, a blue one. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys either how to make a pink one or like a dark bluish light blue. I don't know. One of those colors. So yeah, and don't forget to do, I'm going to be making these collabs with Daisy Stalls every other Friday. So I did one last Friday, so go check out that. And um, I did a surprise, so you can go um, see what I did if you didn't already see it. Um, and also, like I said, go check out her channel. She is also going to be, be doing a surprise on her channel, which, I mean, it's not going to be a surprise until you, like, go over there and, like, watch her channel. But whatever, so make sure you go over there and subscribe to her and, um, just pretty much tell her you said hi. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so the things that you're going to need will be some scissors, which, yeah, I really just need scissors. Um, I'm going to be making it this kind of color, um, of yarn. So this is just embroidery floss, embroidered floss, or whatever you want to call it. And it looks like that. And you can get these anywhere, like, um, at Michael's. I got this one, actually, um, at Walmart. Shop Co., you guys can get it pretty much anywhere. You're going to need some black thread, like, embroidery thread, embroidery thross, whatever, thoss, thoss, I cannot talk today. Thoss. Floss. Okay. Not going to say that word again. Okay. And then you're going to need some black paper, which, um, yeah, you're going to need some black paper and a pencil to write it with. You're going to need a container. This is just like a coffee creamer container. You're just going to need a container and you're also going to be needing Mod Podge for this. Um, you're also going to need some uh, hot glue. If you don't want to use hot glue, you can use, there's probably a different other glues that you want to use. Um, you're going to need a toothpick, so, uh, I just have a toothpick here. You're also going to be needing a paint brush, so I have, like, a thin one here. And if you want, you can use water. You don't have to use water. It just kind of waters down, like, the Mod Podge. But, um, if you don't want to, then you don't have to. Okay, so what you're going to start with first is you're going to start to open your, um, toothpick. And, yeah, I just have a toothpick here. What you're going to do is you're going to cut off just one of the tips at this part so I just cut off I'm gonna leave this part on but this part will be off um so looking at a other one here just a second let me go get my other one so looking at this one what you're going to do is you're gonna have to start with this so this is where your little crop part will be. So like the little black part will be um, on this part here. And then you're gonna wrap this part with your purple or whatever color you want. Then you're gonna use your black part for the handle, which will be like here. So um, what you're going to do is you're just going to take your Mod Podge, give it a nice shake. And like you said, like I said, you can add like a touch of water or two um, in your Mod Podge. You won't need to use it. But if you guys like to, then go ahead. So I just put a little drop in there because you aren't going to be needing a lot of it. But you're definitely going to be needing um, some Mod Podge. So then you're going to take your um, paintbrush here. And you're also going to take the color of the embroidery floss. I'm not going to say that again. You guys know what I'm saying. The embroidery floss. Or I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. And then you're just going to start wrapping. So you're going to start with your paintbrush and dip it into your uh, Mod Podge. And when I say like a little bit, like that's how much I mean as a little bit. Um, so it's just like barely the tip of it. And then I'm just going to apply some on this. And you know, if you have to get more, then you can just put a little bit more on your brush. And then you're just going to take your um thread and you're just pretty much going to place it on there and then just start to roll so as you can see i'm just starting to roll here 
and then that you just keep on, on you just keep on doing that all the way down the line um so i just put some on there and then after you get some on there then you're just going to take the rest of it on there on your brush and you're going to brush the actual the ones that are already on there so once you start rolling them see how this is already rolled and then you're just going to put the embroidery or the glue on the like the thread so that it will stick hard to the um to the actual like stick to the um toothpick so like i said then you're just going to put on some more glue and then you're going to hold it there and then you're going to put on some glue onto the thread so you're going to keep on going until you're about um about three quarters left and then you're going to switch the colors okay guys so now i'm going to just cut the tip of this off and then you are just going to roll it around and pretty much just how like you started so i just took the tip of it and i just pretty much rolled it around one more time and then you're going to hold your fingers here for a little bit until it sticks and now it is stuck on there so it looks kind of like you could just leave it like this and you can make like a lollipop kind of thing for your dolls and i am recording this this is part like not part two but this was the next day so i just let it dry you don't have to i got busy because i had to go feed my horse and then i just never got back to doing this so then you're going to take your um black thread and you're just going to start it up pretty much just like how you started the top of the blue part so you're going to take your glue and you're going to, oops, put it in the wrong place. Then you're going to just um, put some glue on it. And then you're just going to start wrapping around. So I just put it on there. And then I just start to wrap and I hold it down so that it will stick. And then it is time to start wrapping. So then you take your, um, some more of your glue and then you, you're just going to keep going down. And then you're also going to take some more glue and just go down it pretty much. So that is all you're going to be doing for the, now. Um, it is pretty easy. And then once you get it kind of going, then you can just start rolling it with your uh, left hand. So you just start rolling once you get glue applied and then it will just start to stick. Obviously, you're going to have to have some glue on it. But, yeah. So, I hope you guys actually make this. Because um, it's a lot of fun. And it's really easy. And it might seem like there's a lot of steps to it. But, it's not. It's just pretty much, um, you just got to make sure that you get the glue to stick on it. That's probably the hardest thing. But, once you get past that, then you will be able to do it. Um... In a ways, you know, you can use adult supervision, or not adult, you can use, like, adult's help. Because sometimes they know how to do some stuff better. And it's not like you're going to act like, uh, well, I can't do this. You're going to just be asking for help. So once you get, to, you're going to leave, like, a little in at the end. You're going to take the rest of the glue that's on your uh, brush, and you're just going to start brushing over it. Just pretty much sweeping over it just so that it will stay. And then you are also, then you're going to cut off and you're going to leave about like an inch, I'd say. And then you're going to wrap it into like, I guess you can make it look like a P, I guess you can make it look like that. And then you just take the rest of it. So see how I made it like looped and then I just took the end of it and I just put it around itself. And then I'm going to take some more glue dab some more glue on there and then I'm just going to stick it together so now it is ready it's not 100% ready you still have to wait for it to dry but now you have to cut out a perfect piece so how I usually do this is I take a full piece of paper and I cut it well I don't cut it I just uh, crease it in half and then I make like a triangle piece and then I go down and then I do that again. And you know, you can always resize it or redo it. Um, so you, it's really kind of hard to see it, but I made like a little pencil drawing out of it. And then you're just going to cut it 
and then you're going to make two parts of it. So uh, folding the paper will make it come into two. And then, and by the way, guys, I made this craft up pretty much by myself. I didn't, like, look at anything. I just thought that this would work, and that's pretty much what I did. So now I have this, and if you feel like it's, like, a little bit too long, then you can just trim up the edges if you feel like the triangle parts are too triangular, triangular, if that makes sense. So now I have it at a perfect angle. I just have to cut this part down a little bit now. And also, these are crafts, so not all of them turn out just peachy. You know, some of them I have to redo. Some of them work out fine. So then I'm going to take some more uh, Mod Podge, and I'm going to stick it at this end, um, the colored end, and generously put it on there. And then you're going to take your black paper, and you're just going to stick it down on there. Now, you can use glue stick to stick this down, but it's just, or a hot glue gun, it's just, like, up to you. It might not stick as well with this, but it's still going to work perfect. Um, if you're actually literally going to want to use this, like, on an actual horse, well, not an actual horse, but, you know, like, actually, like, use it roughly, then I'd use a hot glue gun because it's going to come off. But if you're just going to use it for pictures, etc., just to kind of hang it there in the horse's hand, or the girl's hand, uh, your rider's hand, then I would just leave it like this because it's not like you're actually going to be like putting it in their hand and having them hang it and then like act like they're using it. So I hope this wasn't a too hard craft. This is why it's called Quick Craft Friday because it's a quick craft and it's really simple and easy and it's small, but it's something that you can do that's fun. So um, don't forget to go check out Daisy Stahl's channel and um, subscribe to her, watch all her videos, um, and her video will be up on Friday, which it is currently Thursday today. So yeah, bye guys! Oh yeah, and I have two things for you guys, so I have a question for you guys. What is your guys' favorite ice cream? Mine is like cookie dough, mint, chocolate chip, something like that. Um, and so comment down below what your guys' favorite cookie or, or, um, cookie or ice cream, whichever. And then also, don't forget to go make, uh, check out my last video for my photo contest and make sure you take pictures because, like I said, there's not going to be, there's going to be a winner, but there's no prize. It's just something to do fun and everybody's going to get a place, whether I have to go up to 10th place or 6th place, whichever, um, everybody's going to get placed. Um, and like I said, it's just my opinion. It's not anybody else's and it's just if you want to. So if you don't want to, then you don't have to. It's just, if you want to, then go head over to my channel. Tell me that you would like to do it. Or um, on this video, comment down below, or on my last video, like I said. And it's just something fun to do. And, um, yeah, so get them in before June 5th. And um, if you guys need more time, then you can comment down below the photo contest video or this uh, video. And, yeah, bye, guys.